Cove Byron Center. This is Brandon uh, with Paul Speaker here. Uh, like Paul calls this, the Speaker Real Estate World Headquarters. Uh, so January 2018, uh, we figured what better way to kick off the new year than look at uh, real estate values and real estate stats. That's right. That's right. That's, uh, that's what Paul does for fun. That's probably do. what he was doing on New Year's Eve as well. Pretty so. much. Pretty much. So Paul, show us what do we see Byron Center home values uh, real estate for yep. 2017 yeah yeah so if you're watching this video you probably got something in the mail that looked uh, about like this uh, this is what uh, what we call the Byron Center home prices dot com um, and, and geographically it's the area um, west of Byron Center Avenue, generally speaking around the 84th and Byron Center Avenue, approximately to Conifer Ridge and um, just past the kind of the United Bank area. Um, that general area, it's not a it's not a perfect area. And we also we also find that it's a fairly diverse area when it comes to type of home, age of home, um, size of home. And uh, and so it does it does make it a little bit more challenging to extrapolate some trends, um, but we can we can definitely start to see some interesting interesting trends as we dig deep into the numbers. Um, in 2017, we saw 23 homes sell in that general area, um, and currently, as of right now, there are three homes that are pending, which means that they're under contract. What about homes that I can go out and buy today that are active? There are no homes on the market right now in this area. That's a good question, and that that's driving a lot of this. There, there are simply there are simply no homes on the market in this area for for buyers to to even look at. Um, with only three under contract, and I know uh, one of them went under contract very quickly, um, and I know the other one went under contract very quickly as well. That one had multiple offers on it. Um, we're seeing we're seeing some very clear trends as you look at different price points. Um, in Byron Center, if you are at or below about the 200,000 mark, uh, you're, you're likely to have a lot of showings. You're likely to po possibly have multiple offers. Um, there's just simply nothing on the market right now under 200 or very little on the market under 200 that somebody can move right in. Once you crest 200, we do see things slow down a little, but 200 is a big, big uh, hurdle. It's a big benchmark for a lot of people. and. Uh, once you crest 200, you do see things slow down a little bit, but anything two to 250 is still likely to move very, very quickly. Um, once you crest about 250, again, you see a little bit more of a slowdown because now you're also competing with some new construction options. Um, you can, just barely, but you can get into a new construction home in the Byron Center area for about 280 or 290, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, and I know prices, uh, costs have been going up, so that may have changed, but, um, it is possible, and so you do you do start to compete with that. But um, but it, it, at all of those price points, there's there's very little on the market right now. So there there's simply not much on the market right now, which is driving demand. Of all all of real estate is supply and demand driven, and uh, with, with very little on the market, we believe that it's important for you as the home seller to get top dollar for your home. Brandon, what what are some things that we're seeing? sellers do to get top dollar, what, what kind of advice would we give uh, give the folks watching? Yeah, that's a great question. So just because there's not a lot on the market, you know, it doesn't mean, uh, oh, okay, I'll just throw my, my house up there. It doesn't take any work and, you know, it'll sell for me. Right, right. Well, it's still a, a good idea to put some thought and effort into it. Um, big thing that we're, we're seeing is the condition of the home makes a big difference. I mean, it's kind of, mm -hmm. kind of a no-brainer, but uh, really makes sense. So uh, even just real basic things, uh, the cleaner the home is, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and uh, just well-organized and clean. So you walk in yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, it feels homey. You can picture yourself in it. You know, you're not stepping around uh, piles of laundry. Uh, and then so, you know, things like fresh paint mm -hmm. um, help yep, yep. That, uh, that type of thing. Um, and then also in the way that the home is presented. Um, so thinking about, uh, you know, doing professional pictures mm -hmm. to make your home, uh, to kind of maximize your home's appeal, to show off all the great things about your home. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when it comes down to, you know, roofs and kitchens and bathroom remodels, um, those are all great things to do. And uh, we love to, um, for that type of thing, we love to, to meet with people one-on-one -on -one and say, hey, 
here's kind of what you might expect on a, as far as a return on that investment. Um, yeah, they're always good things to do, but it depends on your circumstances, whether that makes sense for you to do right now or not. So that's yeah. one thing that, again, we love, love meeting with people and uh, basically, hey, what does it look like in this specific circumstance right. Right. how to get top dollar for for your home, right. which is always what we're focused on. Yeah, the other thing I would add is curb appeal. Even even though there's a, a blanket of snow on the ground, curb appeal is really important. Uh, I, I met with a client the other day, and uh, they had a really cute little house, a little bungalow, and as I was pulling up, I thought, it needs something. And uh, I, I suggested that they buy some shutters. It had two windows and a door in the very center. I suggested that they buy some shutters um, and, and paint them a, a fairly bright, color. In this case, the house was like a, um, a real light blue. I said, paint them a deep blue or a vibrant blue, something like that. They did the same thing to the door, completely transformed the way the house looks. And, and even though there's snow on the ground, the curb appeal is still very, very important. And that's a great example of little things that you can do mm -hmm. uh, that really change how people view your house. Which Absolutely. It's kind of interesting, but. Absolutely. Uh, a set of shutters probably cost 30 bucks. He bought two of them, so 60 bucks. A couple of cans of spray paint and paint to do the door. For less than 100 bucks, he made his house, it completely transformed his house. And, it, and it's, it, it is definitely paying dividends for him. Anything else we need to talk about? No, so that was kind of our recap of 2017. Uh, we'll keep coming at you with all this, you know, information and uh, helpful kind of trends and stats and things like that. So you will see us again next month. Uh, so thanks for watching. Thanks, folks.